from the mixed up files of Basil T. Frankenweiler or something like that? Mixed up files. Powerful files. Frankly, it's the last days. Jock and pussies are ashtrays, and artsy farts have more baggage than Samsonite. Those ancient Hamptonites, they're always like, I can't tonight. And men who are too beautiful are too dutiful with their cuticles. Plus it's like conversation with a carpet and cubicle. I was eating food when a dude pseudo-suitable said, My rap top's the backdrop from laptop to blacktop. You certainly appear to be mildly stacked up. My iconoclastic rap stick has my Jimmy Wats like chapstick. I think L. Cool J and Cannabis are both fantastic. So-called expert. What's up, guys? It's Justin, a.k.a. Diego. And uh, sorry I've been away for a little bit. I was out of town. I've been real busy with my RL stuff. RL stands for real life for all you fucking non-acronym people that don't <laughs> can't keep up with that shit. 4.2 is here, motherfuckers! So, yeah. Uh, by the way, yeah, that intro was awful, but who gives a shit? I'm not fucking going for fucking video awards here. So, I got some footage of this bird boss, I don't remember the name, it's eluding me right now, so I apologize, but, anyway, so we're gonna talk, we're gonna watch this while I just talk, talk about the Fireland stuff, so, let's first, let's talk about the major change it did to Prot, Holy Shield, right, um, personally, I, you know, no one likes to change, uh, no one likes to have to keep track of another cooldown, and uh, it's a cooldown that you have to, you know, basically use as it comes off cooldown. You want it up 100%, well, as often as possible. So, for me personally, what I'm probably going to do, I, I personally have troubles, like right now, if you look, it's not, it's up, but I don't have it active. So, um, just with all the stuff going on, it's really hard to keep track of it. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a power aura. Uh, via the add-on called Power Ores, and just track it that way because I, I just do a pretty bad job of just keeping it, um, popping it right when it comes off cooldown. I don't know if you guys have any other tricks. Uh, if you do, please share them with us. But um, I love this boss fight. Tanks do so much damage to these little hatchlings. It's awesome. But um, so they they needed to change it because if you don't uh, know why they change it, they change it because paladins in this expansion were actually going to all paladins after they got a little bit of firelands gear were going to be block capped. If you don't know what that means, that basically means we were going to be able to achieve a total avoidance including block of 102.4, which means any boss at any given time uh, would only, um, you know, they wouldn't give us a full hit. They wouldn't be able to hit us for a full hit. So the worst thing that would happen was that we would block every attack, um, which is really overpowered if you're able to mitigate every attack with you know via a block um, or parry, dodge, or get missed. So that's really overpowered. That's why they wanted to change it. So they did. And uh, I don't know how they're going to balance it later. They're actually um, talking about making our mastery kind of like the Prot Warrior mastery, where um, our mastery has two effects. Um, I don't I don't know how they're gonna balance it that way, but that's what they said. That's a route they could go later um, next uh, patches as the patches go on and our avoidance gets higher and higher. Because from what it sounds like, they really want to just avoid um, us being able to block every attack, uh, which is which is good because I mean they get they they're gonna be able to keep the fights balanced. Um, because if for some reason they ever you know let that fly, what's going to happen is the fights are going to have to be tuned a little bit harder and have to do a little bit more damage to tanks, which basically is going to result in harder fights for other tanks that aren't going to be able to be block capped. So it's a little unfair. So as long as they're keeping the fights balanced, it's okay that we we won't be able to get block capped. But um, and let's talk about the gear, man. The gear is is fantastic. All oh, the tornadoes. I also wanted to. All right, let me before we even get on to that. Let me talk about the tornadoes. This is really tricky. Um, the easiest thing to do is just as a tornado passes you, just turn and follow it. You just do little semicircles, like what I'm doing here. I fucked up in the first part, but it, you know, I finally caught on to it afterwards. So this is like our third bowl, or I don't remember fourth, fifth bowl. So it takes a little getting used to. So um, that's actually the hardest part of the fight, uh, it's just because it's a weird mechanic. You just gotta like, you know, practice it. That's it. You just gotta get used to practicing it. So if you just watch that over and over again, you kind of see the method of how I, I personally feel the best way to attack that would be, and that's just simply just you know walk in circles. Um, but anyway, so the gear. I want to talk about the gear. The four set. 
I mean, all the tanking four sets are really good. I'm really happy with the tanking four sets. I mean, the fact that you get a cooldown right up front, if you guys don't know what it is, is it's uh, tied to Divine Protection, which is our one-minute cooldown, um, which reduces 20, uh, damage by 20%. So it's tied to that, and as soon as that fades, you get an avoidance cooldown. Um, I forget exactly how much. I want to say 12% dodge. I think it's balanced for most tanks. I think most tanks get about that much avoidance. So, I mean, it's really, really cool. Um, and I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if there were any ret changes that went through. I'm not gonna lie, because I looked and I'm doing the same DP, about the same DPS as I was before. So I don't think anything changed. If something changed, it was PVP based. And since I don't PVP, I don't really pay attention to the PVP balances. Um, so if something did change, correct me. Uh, let me know. I don't, I don't think it did. But um, this fight's fun. So new, some new stuff in my world, guys. I am again in a new guild. Um, this guild is a 25-man guild, and we do 10 mans. Um, when I 20, we do 25 mans two days a week, and 10 mans two days a week. So I tank for our 10 mans, and I DPS for our 25 mans. Um, so I still tank. Um, occasionally but I am like the third tank in the rotation so I don't you know don't tank most of the most of the time in 25 mans but in our 10 man yes I am the off tank so that's that other than that man this fight is fun let's talk about the fights the fights in Firelands are really fun I personally feel they're really really fun we haven't done anything heroic yet so we haven't been able to just you know see the the hard hard you know parts of um, these encounters but as, as far as normal goes nothing's really really too hard um, we've done rag we've pulled rag like three times and that fight seems like on oh, normal anyways it seems like it's just gonna be a progress uh, pr a phase progression type fight uh, what I mean by that is it I mean like you know you get through phase one you know you practice phase one you get through phase one phase one's down then you practice the transition and you know then you get that down and then you practice the next phase after that I, it doesn't really seem like after I, I doesn't seem like from what I I've seen from the first couple polls is that it's gonna be too hard of a fight once you learn it you just gotta put in the time it doesn't really seem like it's gonna be too hard once everyone understands it and has done it enough times it'll go down um, it's not gonna be like heroic Lich King where you know there's that random RNG factor that really just fucks you right over everything seems pretty control controlled and manageable and pretty easy to deal with um, see that again holy shield God, I gotta get an add-on to track it it's just hard for me to I haven't had enough practice with it. I really am, really am failing as a tank recently. I haven't had too much practice with it. God, the numbers that tanks put up on this fight is ridiculous. I wish I did this damage all the time. Just look at look at Omen. Omen just says infinity. Omen just says you do too much threat. You GG, you win. <laughs> There's no one's gonna catch you. We're just gonna bug you out. Here's the tornado phase again. Watch. I think I fail less on this one. Best thing to do is to run to the exterior immediately, and then just start dodging. Yep. So just follow tornadoes. As soon as you get passed by one, just follow it. Get passed by one, follow it. Get passed by one, follow it. See, I'm running with a guy right here. We're doing the same thing. It, that's really the easiest thing to do. Um, I haven't really found any other way to do it easier, but I mean. That's about that's about it. It's not really that hard once you understand. All, it's all you gotta do is just follow a tornado that passes you, and once pa once another one passes you, just follow it. It's pretty simple. But this is a fun fight. All the fights are really fun. I don't know uh, if you guys have uh, your favorite fight, but I mean, I really don't think the, that the fights are too hard. Most of the fights, personally, just seem like you know once your raid understands what's going on, it seems like it's uh, you know that's half the battle in these places. You just gotta you know learn them. It really seems like it's you know mo a majority of of the of these fights is just the learning curve. Once the learning curve is is managed and everyone understands what's going on, it's down. You know, it's it's real easy progression. So uh, yeah, but most of these, I mean, for our first kills, our first kills on most of these bosses took less than eight, you know, ten poles, less than ten poles. This one po was probably our most uh, pulled boss just because of the, the tornadoes. But um, everything else, you know, was you know seven, eight poles, and it was dead on our, on our first attempts. So I mean, it, not too hard once everyone learns it. And plus, there's plenty of resources out there on the internet for everyone to go look. Um, but what we're gonna talk about later, if you guys uh, still want to 
check out my channel. We're, we're gonna talk about talking about some uh, some gear, how to um, how to manage that holy shield rotation once we once I f personally figure out how to fucking manage it, you know. <laughs> but uh, and then yeah, we're gonna do some boss guides and stuff like that once we get a little bit further. But again, always. Um, Everyone's always been asking me about add-ons, and I really wish I had add-on videos. Oh wait, I do. I have like four or five add-on videos. You guys just check the fucking main channel, scroll through the videos, and I'm sh you'll see them. They're in there. They're mixed in there. They're they're titled something with add-ons. So just check them out. I I'm pretty sure I've touched bases on every add-on that I have. So uh, if you can't find the video, then I don't know. I don't know what to tell you because I seriously have a video for basically almost every add-on that I've done. I've covered my majority of my UI. So if you're looking to pick up my UI, just check the channel, yo. But other than that, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy Firelands as much as I have been enjoying. But I will catch you guys next time. Later. Wash your heart off with hot water Wash your mouth out with